on today's Sherpa review, we talk about how hot alphanumeric domains are and discuss a recent sale. Shane reveals something he just learned at GoDaddy and Afternic, and it surprises Drew and Hobie too. Hobie talks about an acquisition that took him a year and a half, and Drew shares a story of one of the most meaningful, proudest moments of his life, one of the most meaningful business moments of his career. Enjoy the show. Hey, Sherpa Network, I'm Tess Diaz, executive producer of DomainSherpa.com, and today we're doing the Domain Sherpa Review. Thanks for joining us. Today, we get into the minds of successful domain name investors using real examples so we can learn strategies and tactics to become better investors ourselves. We will have the usual three segments to the review today, starting off learning what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Next, we'll discuss in value an investor submitted domain name portfolio. And finally, we'll preview some domains going to auction soon at namejet.com and whether the Sherpas think they're a good investment opportunity for you. Joining us today, we have three past Sherpas and industry thought leaders, but very exciting locations from two out of the three. And I bet if you had to guess, you'd assume Drew Rosner was in an exciting location, but he is in the usual place. Hi, Drew. How you doing? Very good. How are you? Fabulous. Glad to have you back in the saddle, all settled after your exciting summer vacations and interesting um, Autoresponders. <laughs> I, I, my autoresponders are are like a they're like a passive protest. You know, I I I, I think that you know people are too f- afraid to say they're out of office. People are like so scared to like be seen as like weak or not working hard enough and. Everybody's embarrassed to say like, I'm out of office enjoying my life. And so I try to do the opposite of that and be like, look, I'm out of the office and I go fuck what you need. Like, <laughs> you know, when I'm back in my office, I'll, I'll, I'll be all over it. But right now, you know, I, I'm, I'm somewhere doing something and it's way better than servicing you at this very moment. And I'm just being honest, you know? Uh, so my auto out of office responder is just, it's just trying to be honest and make a you know, put a little humor into it. I try to be funny. Uh, my wife tells me I'm not, um, <laughs> I like the one uh, where you're like, I'm out until my family gets sick of me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, so, um, and then, you know, you know what happened actually that really encouraged me to like keep, like I try to kind of escalate it with each auto responder. You know, I like do it maybe two or three times a year. And um, I, I just try, I try to like escalate it each time, make it a little bit more ridiculous. <laughs> and, um, and that all happened because I had, I can't remember which company it was. It was like one of the biggest companies on earth, right? It was like somebody like huge and I was dealing with their legal department. And uh, you know, it was like, you, you go back through like the email thread, it's like dry as a bone. And it was like, I want to say it was like, I did Amazon. It, it, it was somebody huge. And they're literally in-house counsel who I've been having this conversation with, dry as a bone, not a, right to me. She's like, I can't even begin to tell you how much joy your out of office responder brings me. And I've been lucky enough to receive, you know, the last two or three times you've been out of office, I've received your... And I've saved all of them. And she like copy and paste them and send it back to me. And she was like, I just think it's so great that you, you know, whatever, whatever it was she said. And I, I really, you know, before it was just kind of a joke. I was like just doing it because I'm, I don't, you know, I try not to take myself too serious. And, uh, I, you know, she really encouraged me. And I was like, you know what? This is something I actually believe in. Like, I think people should, they should work hard, but they should play hard. And when you're, you know, and, and you shouldn't, you know, when you when you're out playing, don't work. <laughs> uh, well, the worst is when you have an autoresponder on, and it's like, listen, if it's real, only if it's important, please call me. And everybody starts calling you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, well, that's why. So, so that's like the best part <laughs> is I put like, you know, I will only be able to respond to things which are urgent, and you can define urgent as life-threatening, uh, you know, deal critical, 
uh, or, you know, whatever. I had like three things. And I was like, he had something in there. He's like, or you can call 911. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) If it's an emergency, but it's not one of those things, here's the number, you know, call 911. (laughs) <laughs> nice. Well, welcome back with all your personality. And Shane Coltra, DSAD, might not recognize you without your uh, absolutely classic staircase background. <laughs> what happened? At first, I thought it was the artwork conversation from last time, but it's not. <laughs> Where are you and why? No, I'm just in a different room. I'm just in a different <laughs> uh, Yeah, there construction next door I'm, a, I'm my fifth neighbor i must have i gotta stop going out in my underwear because i, I literally it's the fifth time the house is sold and the crazy <laughs> part is this is the fifth landscaping that we've gotten for wow. it so every single homeowner spends 10 grand on a landscape it's theirs so it's the perfect perfect i'm gonna keep running them out because it's 10 grand every two years yeah it might be <laughs> worth it that's yeah. pretty awesome if your neighbor pays you yeah, I don't do it. Like, that's, I don't want to be part pretty, of it. I that's always... like high-level baller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. You know, it it's... Is. That's, that's, it, there's something to that. But are there's... they all investing in more and more hedges between you no, and them? Like, are they like, we've got a neighbor? No, I would be old. Would be new, you know? No, like the first person wanted Arbavati, so it's a natural hedge, and they wanted <clears throat> some woodwork and stuff. Next person wanted it to look like Oregon, so they tore it all out put in berms and hills and put spruce and all these. Wow, and the man. next person didn't like all the mounds and the blue spruce and tore it out and put the hedgerow back in. <laughs> and it just goes back and forth. And the house is way, everybody who does it fixes it up. And now the, the price never goes for what's in it. It's great. I watch them put in hundreds of thousands and get, get it out because it's so personalized. Everybody yeah. does their own thing, but it's, it's a good buy. It's just the housing market. There's a lot of, I mean, we can get into that other time, but the housing market, there's a lot of stuff out there. If you want a house, there's lots of land and lots of building and lots of old. There's plenty of stuff out there. It seems to keep growing, but my gosh, <clears throat> there's for sale everywhere. Well, remodels too, they, say, they always cost so much more than you expect. <laughs> a yeah. budget is just a joke. <laughs> like, when it but comes- the TV show says that when you put in 500000 you get 800000 That's what all the TV <laughs> shows say. It's got to be right, I assume. Go figure. It's a nice thought. Yeah. The hot blondes always make money on television on the rehab. <laughs> they tear it down, wear a tank top, and they're three hundred grand richer every time. I know that's a formula. I've seen it. <laughs> Go figure. And uh, Hobie, all you need to do is uh, color your hair blonde and you could be on a remodel show. So not right. only are uh, you- like, listen, listen, I, what I'm feeling here is an antique driftwood Florida style home, you know, I can make it work. <laughs> so not only are you running Loomis, you also are doing your own remodel and you're almost done, although you're in the middle of hurricane season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's never uh, that's never a fun fun situation to run into. I guess it's similar to uh, not having a roof on and hitting a snowstorm up in the Northeast, I suppose. But it's like, it's uh, yeah, I'm pretty much almost done. I've been on it, been at it since last November, and uh, everything inside's done. I even just threw up the privacy fence actually outside, and uh, yeah, now I'm just a couple fine tuning, and then I can start on a few other things, and then be good to go. Sweet. Well, congrats. I'm glad the last hurricane didn't hit you. And we'll have our fingers crossed for you all through the rest of the season. You got this. Until your appraisal for your insurance. <sighs> <laughs> Hang in there, baby. Almost there. Home stretch. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. All right. Um, welcome, guys. Uh, let's do this. First segment, what's new Sherpas? So um, we're going to learn what um, one purchase or sale that you've made over the past few weeks, what you paid or received for the domain, why you thought it was a good deal or not, and how the negotiations progressed. So, um, up first, we have you, Shane. What's new? <clears throat> All right, there's a there's a good stories behind this one, so I'll just it, not too exciting. But I sold seventy seven zero a dot com. Okay, wait. So it's three digits seven zero and the letter a. Yeah, oh, nice. dot com. Okay. And a good story. All right, guys, what do you think? Wait, you sold it, you said. I sold it, yeah. There's right. lessons, there's drama, it's fantastic. Ooh. Okay, Is there a I'm gonna say, 
$3,800. Very specific. So, so Did those, you sell uh, it to you? <laughs> so those, those like uh, there's numeric alphas or alphanumerics. It's like when you hit an end user, like up to 10K is not unheard of. It's a three, it's a, you know, especially when it's like a three character. And if you didn't do like a, like more of a liquid sale, maybe 7,500, I'm going to say 75 ish. All right. I 100% agree. I just know Shane likes to take that easy money. Oh. <laughs> Deep that easy money coming. I'm going to go trim mama. You know, I got flowers yeah. to cut and hedges to sell. Give me that easy money. And... <laughs> All right, Shane, All right. what'd you but sell it for? It was still easy money, but I got 7,800 for it. Oh, wow. Oh. Nice. That was a sick sale, though. That was nice. Yeah. Uh, well and here's the thing. This is where the lesson comes in. So I didn't know this, but evidently, you know, right now they're as hot as they've ever been. Like if, if it's the right one, it, yeah, it's five figures, even at auction. And you just don't know which one it is. We pretend like we know which to the, the number letters or the hot ones, but we, we don't know. So I put it up for auction and just test it out. And um, evidently, if you put it up for auction and you have an after Nick listing and they hit buy it now, it's the same as doing a buy it now at auction. So I didn't realize that was part of the program. So if you put up a listing and you, you put a link in that listing to your after Nick buy it now and they hit it, that ends the auction and it's treated just like an auction commission. So that, that was kind of new to me and I didn't even know that was something that I could do. So um, that's what right, I Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I'm not following. Yeah. So you put up a listing where? At GoDaddy. Okay. Meaning uh, like a premium listing. Yeah, premium listing, put a reserve okay. on it. I'm being discouraged from doing that anymore, that, that basically all listings should go now through Afternet. Is that – well, this is a regular team. bidding auction, like, you know, just a regular, I don't, auction, after Nick doesn't have that part. You know, this is just a regular bidding where I put it up, I put a reserve, if it meets a reserve. Uh, you put it in auction. Okay. In auction. Okay, okay hang on. A premium listing at GoDaddy. Well, I, is, the word is, premium is, So you yeah. did an, a listing at auctions.godaddy.com and Correct. then you paid extra to have it be in the premium category? Well, it's always it after Nick in their in the after Nick portfolio. So it's always mm -hmm. in that where I have it listed with a buy it now price. Totally separate. Okay. okay. Totally separate. But I did a an auction just for the name with the ref, I think it was a I can't remember the reserve three four thousand dollar reserve, and I planned on just having it as a regular auction. But two days later, bang off done sold seventy eight hundred dollars i went sold how can that be possible they flipped over to the after nick bought it there that ends the auction so i contacted godaddy and said what's going on and they said yeah we consider this part of the family if they buy it at after nick it ends the auction but you pay the auction which i think is 15 percent instead of the after nick 20 percent. so whatever the cheaper of the two you get that I didn't know that, but it is definitely something to think about because you get a little space in your auction to put information and you can put a link to your after Nick to say, Hey, you want to end this thing? Here's the buy it now listing. Now, of course you very interesting. That's a great tip. Yeah. 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 So I didn't know any of that was possible, but it's changed my thoughts on things where I can put a little bit higher reserve, but put the buy it now and get some advertising out of it. Are you uh, are you actively selling names through that channel? Is that is only that only in those only in those kind of names where that the there's just stuff. a category that's especially hot that is almost reaching and that those numbers I had a lot of those numbers and this is the other funny story so I went to go see while I was searching for this I have l22.com which I feel mm -hmm. is okay. a really strong one level 22 that's I, like a thing right like a brand not, not that I know of. It could be. It'd be an incredible brand. Uh, <laughs> I thought I sold it at auction as part of these whole thing, you know, the, you know, where I've been, I've just been selling these because I had, you know, a dozen of these and they're getting five to 10,000 a piece. So if I need cash, I just wow. dump them. So uh, I mean, you were oh, buying yeah. those things for three to 800 bucks. Yeah, exactly. Years ago. Yeah, exactly. So I just, I just had a nice little portfolio and I raised like sixty thousand dollars this year, just throwing a couple in there, taking taking a little cash. Hanging out, you know. <laughs> but Tess, when do you I was have looking, any of those? You when just, I was looking you for L twenty two, every domain we own. 
Pardon me? Yeah, I'll be right back. What's that? We've been Cass. we've been going over the media options inventory and it's about killing me. So he's like, <laughs> Hey Cass, can you just take a quick look at every domain we own? <laughs> That's well, not a good research. <laughs> and that's what I was going to say. So I'm looking for these, which is, you know, some I sold a little early before it got bigger. And I was going, man, I gave away L22 because I thought I sold it earlier at auction. I'm looking, there's nothing there, nothing there. I never sold it sitting in my portfolio at Uniregistry. So huh. now it's, it's super hot. So it's like, I tweeted it today. It's like finding a $10,000 domain that you thought you sold that now yeah. is super liquid that's and sweet. super. I had no idea that I even had it anymore. I don't, I don't have as many at unit registry as I used to have. So I'm not there that often, but I was like, dang, that's a good start to the day. That's some cash money just sitting there. Mm -hmm. Good for it you. Also says Congrats. how unorganized I am. Yeah. Uh, true. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. That's a, that's a great sale and good for you for making the easy money and a solid price. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not not bad for all in a day's work. Drew, you're up. What'd you buy or sell lately? Uh, okay. Um, go to Hobie. Oh, <laughs> I, I mean, you know, you know, you know what? Because I literally actually just faced out. I, I had one and then literally realized as I'm coming on that I cannot discuss that one. Uh, so tempting. So. All right, Hobie, you up? Okay, yeah. Actually, Drew's got me a little nervous, too. I was about to talk about one, and I was pretty sure I can talk about it. Let me just double-check, make sure. <laughs> uh, and half the show is cut out later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right. Um, so, the last time I was on here, did I talk about fan.ai? That one may have been in process. I don't remember no, I don't you talking so. about that. Okay, let me double-check. I don't think I had a PNS for that one. If I did, then I need to scrutinize that real quick. Because fan.ai, so like with CTTLDs, you know, they're fantastic if you can nail it just like with those letter number combinations. On fan.ai, let me double check. Yeah, I don't think I do. Yeah, okay, so what do you guys think it's sold for? Hmm. Fan AI, I'm going to say 20, 20, 20, 25, 20. Okay. I get one question though. What's an AI renewal cost? I have no idea. Is it a it's like fifty bucks a year? It's like fifty bucks a year. I think at Mercury. Yeah, there's like there's like a there's a hundred dollar transfer fee if you want to go from one registrar to another, and I think it's fifty a year renewals. Okay. Uh, fan data. That's not even a dot AI that I would think would be the first. Um, I'll say. I'll say 15K just because I feel like it's three, it's a short. Okay. Kind of. So I had been working on helping the buyer acquire that for about eight months. And prior to me, they, I think they had reached out. So give or take about a year plus negotiation, $50,000. Wow. Now, now, now the reason that went for 50,000 is kind of twofold. One, the seller started $175,000. And it wasn't 175, okay, I'll jump down to 10 kind of move where it was just an arbitrary pricing. It was 175, I won six figures. Stop talking to me, let's be have six figures. Was it Mike Carson? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I would have a million. Million dollars. Million like, dollars. Uh, second part was the buyer had started a company called Fan AI. So like, it was a pretty clear, uh, that buyer had a pretty decent idea, especially since they had inquired before me who the buyer was and the fact that the owner of the domain had acquired the domain, and then sometime later, the buyer had started a company, Fan AI, and then they were using fanai.com as their brand, and it was just kind of a bit of confusion because it looked like Finai, or that was kind of how their brand was, and they were actually Fan AI. Interesting. Yeah. What kind of company is that? Um, well, it was a while ago. Don't move from .com over to .ai, although well, I don't understand what you're saying here. Well, with some in the CCTLD space, especially like the dot, uh, especially the dot AI, like a lot of times it makes more of a logical sense for their kind of consumer base. And fan.ai, I think that was like sports marketing, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Let me pull this one up. It was a while ago we sold this. Yeah, sponsorship marketplace. It helps right holders monetize their fans and brands, optimize their sponsorship spend. So it was kind of in the sports, the sports space, or I guess the just that area. But uh, yeah, I mean, for a lot of these DCTLDs, kind of like I was saying earlier, sometimes it's a very logical 
transgress or just a progression for someone to kind of migrate over. The dot com, I think it's important that they own fanai.com just for that type of aspect and people who maybe aren't as familiar with dot AI. But from a branding standpoint, it kind of makes a lot of sense. It's like, even though it is a CCLT, CCTLD, and even though it's not used as it relates to the nation that it's from, it kind of conveys just what they do and they're in of the artificial intelligence space. So it's like, it's a very nice kind of immediate branding and immediate recognition of kind of what they do. So it's, I think 50K, definitely a pretty great price for, you know, the seller on that one. Um, but I think the buyer is going to get the value out of it. And I think it was kind of a good deal all around. Yeah, yeah well said. And they own the fan. That's an important part of it. You own, people say, oh, they're going to screw it up. If they screw it up, they're still coming to your site. Because Correct. whatever they type in is getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think the fact that they're in internet information services is very different than if they were a sports website or, um, you know, something. Oh, totally I misspoke. I actually misspoke on that. I'm sorry. We originally looked into fanai.com. That's why I thought huh. they had it. No, they were fanai.io. So they had no choice. That's what it was. Uh, fanai.com is owned by a massive, looks like a massive company out of China. That's right. And they're screwed. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like they had to act. I apologize. I was wrong on that. They had to get it because they were using fanai.io and there is no, that, that doesn't make any sense. That so is they, the yeah, weirdest not, thing. Yeah. Like, that ain't going to fly. Nope. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, we can make it shocker to me. No, dot IOs yeah. are sick. Well, just like dot AIs. If you nail it, if you get that great, that perfect dot IO, like you can hold them right. You own like what? One, two, three dot IO, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a pretty that's a pretty decent one. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Yeah, you really hit the nail right on the head. You've got yourself a great set of training wheels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's although no put it, I guess. They're not going to buy 123.com. Sorry. I mean, that, that one, well, that one is actually for sale, I think, right? That's like, yeah, it's been for sale for years. Joe, Joe's been trying to sell it, right? Yeah, I'd seen some pretty substantial offers on that one, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I uh, there, there was a point where we sold, I don't remember what it was, we sold something for a lot of money. And I was like, I'm going to just buy it. 123.com, <laughs> I want it. I want it. Uh, yeah. I still want it. I love that name. I love that name. I That's like things that are it. irreplaceable. It's just, uh, yeah, That's uh, cool. but it probably is a horrible investment because yeah, I mean, <laughs> the chances that somebody's naming their company, one, two, three, dot com is probably pretty low. You know, it's right. like, it could have been, that could have been the, you know, that could have been the other direction alphabet went, right? <laughs> it yeah. could have been called honestly, yeah. com and yeah, called one, two, three, dot com. Um, but, uh, yeah. All right, cool. And we'll see. Some some someday we'll have somebody on the show who just sold one, two, three. We'll we'll just wait for it. Right? In there. Well it's owned by a Chilean company, actually. It's like a big Chilean uh a telecom. Uh, telecom. I I had inquired on that name since uh, forever. Mm -hmm. Uh but it's is it eight figures, I assume? No, but it's high seven. I think it was at one point eight figures. I think now it's in the sevens, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. I think it's like yeah. six. I think Drew is just stalling because he still doesn't correctly. have a name. <laughs> uh, I have one. It's just not that exciting. All right. Then, then make up for it with your personality. Um, okay. Let's go with... Um, you want to buy or sell? Either one. Buy in case I ever have a buyer interested. I know what you paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I had one. Okay. Uh, I uh, okay. Let's do dr. dot net. Dr. I, I just saw that like, one. That was a buy. Yeah, that Doctor, was on. This is a buy. It's a buy. I just, I just dot net. Dr. dot net. That was on Namejet. Yeah, yeah. I actually saw this deal. So, I mean, we could do it. I don't remember what it was, but I remember like, I glanced at it like two days don't ago. Don't type. Don't type anything in. Just go off the top of your head. Don't. Yeah, you can't. No, no looking. No cheating. Yet. Was it like 13,000? <laughs> James, that's your guess? Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, 13. <laughs> yeah. You going with 13? Mm -hmm. 
I have no idea because I was out early. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> I just, I, hmm. I mean, that's a fantastic, this is a great dot net, but I can't, I didn't follow through and see what it sold for, <clears throat> but you ended up buying it, Drew. So that's a uh, two letter dot net. I'll, I saw it through I'll, to the end. <laughs> yeah, I'll say, I don't remember seeing it on the high list of the day either. So, Something was higher that day. I'll, I'll say twenty-two grand. I mean, it's worth more than that, but I, I have no idea. Yeah. So you're almost bang on. It was like twenty-one thousand one hundred dollars. Okay. I think it was twenty-one thousand one hundred eleven dollars. Actually, is the final yeah. final sale price. Great. Okay. But it's not only is it Doctor dot net, and it's a two letter dot net with no vowels. It's also my initials. Oh <laughs> yeah. That's, like the, okay. that's okay. like the seventh name we've done that. Which Shane? Are you going to put him down for that, or are you going to look at yourself and say, "Wait a minute, why did I not notice that?" I'm thinking how many versions of Drew Mia options. Mia Mia options has a has a vanity. We we have a vanity, <laughs> a vanity of, Drew page. No, it's a license vanity, plate section. Uh, no, a, a, bu- a vanity budget. We've got an annual vanity budget. So you know, <laughs> I'll make like a rose contract and sell it to you. What? <laughs> one year I bought Drew.com. One year I bought ALR.com. Now I've got DR.net. I, I need, Long time ago, I got Drew.net. I need to piece together all the Sherpas where you announce the, what you bought and then you tell them, but it's my initials. And everybody yeah, like, oh. ends it with, that's my name, dumbass. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's like, dude, that was my nickname in sixth grade. You don't know that? <laughs> my nickname in like yeah never mind drew cookie rosner they call me cookie that's why i bought cookie.org <laughs> cookie ai.io yeah they said crazy. i was the smartest cookie so i bought cookie.ai and i just figured that that's me <laughs> drew had a variety of nicknames none of which were sweet and cute like cookie yeah. Most of them were not able to be registered on the internet until the late 90s. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Okay, so I forget now. Oh, no, you did. You guessed on the prices. You told them the price. Okay. Where did you buy it? Name Jet. Name Jet. All right. That's pretty, that's pretty cool for like distance, like uh, not distance learning, but like uh, like an online. I mean, are you ever going to sell it or is it just it's yours forever? And uh-huh. forever? No, Drew.com, not selling unless, you know, somebody like, you know, really trade you for one, two, really. three. Yeah, it's like you gotta really knock my socks off. Uh, but dr.net, of course, yeah. Okay. I, yeah, I mean, that, I, I, that's like a good like distance learning, not distance learning, but uh, it's like a what is it like the on demand doctor, like on on demand medical platforms. Yeah, like doctor net. I mean, that's that's where yeah. I, think I was like, it's like doctor network, like dr.net, yeah. like ha, ha, that's that's a super cool name. I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't know, I don't, I'm not you know, super bullish on .NET, but I'm also not as bearish as the market might reflect. Uh, yeah. We sold the, uh, well, let's see, I don't even want to say we sold, but it looks like we're going to sell a three-letter .NET uh, today. Um, Mariana did uh, some outbound uh, sales and uh, contacted a company with a three-letter .NET. Didn't even give them a price. This was actually one of the strangest uh, email, uh, uh, leave it to the Germans. It was a German company. But it, it, it literally, she emailed them and said, we we're broken in this domain. I thought it might be interesting to you, uh, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, the guy literally forwarded her email, put her in CC to the CEO and said, hey, uh, this just came across my desk. Do you think it's worth throwing five to $10,000 at it? <laughs> and the it's CEO not a writes back. The CEO writes back with Mariana in CC. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> now, I had instructed her to sell the domain for $4,999, but she never even gave them a price. And they literally wrote in this thread that, <laughs> you know, throw five to 10 grand at this thing. So, so she forwarded me. I was like, what are you talking about? No way. I was like, just forward, forward me the email. So she forwards me the email. I'm like, what the hell? These people are so how is this possible? And so then we just, uh, you know, I was like, okay, reply back and just say like, hey guys, that's so great. That's, you know, 
the owner's asking eighty nine hundred dollars. So it sounds like you're you know, <laughs> just in your budget. Right uh, in the middle. We're gonna delay this right. video going this call, this call going out until that's sold, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, probably we'll have an answer today or tomorrow. So, um, yeah, it was just too funny. And I, you know, whether it sells or not, I don't. You know, I, it is what it is. I, I just it was like the the way that they handled it. I was just like, what? I don't understand. I'm just like, you're having the internal dialogue, but with us, like. <laughs> But anytime, anytime that happens, like I'm talking to somebody about a domain and I just randomly suggest something, like we'll spend half a million on that. I'm like, this was too easy. Like, all right, what, yeah. <laughs> what happened? You've looked into this and they want $5 million, don't they? And that's yeah. always what the case is. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. You do this long enough, you can still be surprised. That's what's so cool about this industry. <sighs> Sometimes, um, I, I, I had a sale like the other day. I'm surprised yeah. daily. I got a great one. I don't know if you guys really want to hear any more stories, but <laughs> we're, we're, brokering, we're brokering Yang.com, Y-A-N-G. Okay. Now, one of the sort of low-level presidential candidates is, uh, uh, what is it, Andrew yeah. Yang? Yeah. And uh, he's, you know, proposing the thousand, you know, we're going to give everybody a thousand dollars a month. And apparently, I wasn't watching, but apparently in one of the debates last week, uh, he literally announced that you'll be able to go online. Uh, I mean... Oh, no. I, what I don't get is that, like, you don't have to be much above monkey level intelligence to understand that he's not the president right now, currently. He was in a debate trying to get a chance to be the president, of which he probably has a little chance of even having a chance, right? So it's like, okay, set in stage. He says, if, you know, whatever, I find president, you'll be able to go online and apply and tell us why you need $1,000 a month. And then we'll give you a thousand dollars a month, right? Whatever to that extent. Obviously, I'm 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 summarizing and, and simplifying, but to the you know, it's sorry for anybody who believes in that idea, but it's such a ridiculous idea that I don't feel the need to really expand on it. So <laughs> the last thing we need in this country is more entitlement. So, uh, anyways, uh, he announces that anybody can go online, you know, will be able to go online and do this within hours i mean i didn't even know that this had occurred right but all of a sudden i'm getting boom 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 email 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 because because yank.com is forwarding to uh, uh you know for sale page on media options which probably should have been an indicator to people that you know this is not andrew yang's website um it's a domain that's for sale but people are so stupid that they like literally hundreds of people filled out this form saying you know, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to just wait a minute. The form, hear some? the media options form. I like hate when people do that. Like, did you not read? Yeah. yeah but you, you, you want to hear some of these? They're great. So, wait, wait. But they filled out the form that says, I want to buy this domain. Yeah. They just filled it out with their yeah. own information. And they filled it in with, give me $1,000. They filled it in with, give me $1,000. Yeah. You should have charged them a $10 application fee. <laughs> Imagine that's hey, what I would have done. Buy the domain, and you can do that. Imagine the news story that would I, follow after that. Yeah, domain guy takes advantage of. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I actually thought about it because I don't really have any empathy for these people. Um, <laughs> I know that. I know that makes me a horrible person, and like I didn't want to do it for any personal gain, but I truly just resent this. Uh, I, and, think you uh, set however, I will also say that I also don't believe it's necessarily their fault that they're in those positions uh it's the fault of a really messed up uh, uh, uh messed up institutions that we've created that have false incentives but that being said i don't really have a lot of patience for stupidity um so i do have some empathy for their economic situation uh i do not have sympathy for their intelligence in the situation and um I mean, these were good. It was like, uh, you know, I, I mean, I got voicemails, multiple voicemails. <laughs> I got, you know, these emails. I'm trying to find them. Hold on, let me see. I put a couple. Well, I was just deleting them. Order I was deleting site. them because uh, it was like, really, I was being inundated. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to save these. Some of these are really good. <laughs> Pick me up. Uh, anyways, if I, I'm trying to find where I saved them. Oh, here's okay. a couple. You yeah. look. I'm going to um, take a minute, tell you about the uh, advertisers for our show who support us in our mission. 
to educate people in the domain industry. First, serious about online trading? Secure your funds, keep your merchandise safe, and use a company that keeps the buyer and seller protected the whole way through. That's escrow.com. Payments you can trust. All right. In the domain portfolio review, we take user submitted oh. domains and provide honest and constructive feedback to owners. Um, Drew, do you have a good email yet that you want to share? So good. Bring it on. This is, well, I, I, no, I don't say who. Just I, say yeah, no, no names. No names. No names. Yeah. Um, yes, I want $1,000. It could pay my insurance. I have private insurance. I don't necessarily need $1,000, but I would like it. And if you give me $1,000, <laughs> I will give you my vote. Thank you. <laughs> uh, wow. A thousand dollars for a vote. On, uh, yeah, on no, I, that, would, that would piss me off. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll back you on that. That would infuriate me. Yeah. Uh, I was just watching the Democratic debate, and I saw that the introduction by Andrew Yang, where he stated that you can apply for a thousand dollars a month. I came to this website, but I don't see a link. Is you, is you a fraud? Yeah. Please submit $10 and we will get you this online application. <laughs> $1,000 a month would help me to dream again. That's true. That's a phone call. That's not a tag. That's not, that's not an email right there. That's a tweet. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think you're uh, looking for Yang.XXX. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, best, the best one I got there was a voicemail that was like, it was horrifying. It was truly horrifying. I, I, <laughs> I, love, how, I love how the word best preceded horrifying there <laughs> well because you know best best is is measured by uh like emotional response right oh yeah, yeah. this was one that was like you were like whoa uh, i don't oh, yeah. want to meet that guy in the street uh yeah all right anyways i know okay Sorry. if you find any more good ones holler in the meantime um Arif, who many of you know is adagy on name pros submitted his list of domains for review. We reviewed his domains a long while back. Um, he does the daily lists on his blog, namecult.com, if any of you watch that or read that. Um, and um, he wants to say for the portfolio review that he'd like you to factor in his acquisition costs, um, which is true. And oftentimes we wonder, you know, did they get it at reg fee? Did they overpay for these? You know, what's the problem? Um, so he says, um, all but two of the domains were GoDaddy closeouts, expired domains that slipped through the auctions and um, are priced progressively from 11 to $5 over a few days. So um, he is at um, multiple four-figure sales this year. Um, so, um, so he's been, been doing pretty well with, you know, more or less profitable uh, flips. So this is only his third year officially domaining, and he is very involved in the industry, you know, reading through very deep into the daily expired auction lists and um, keeping in communication, I think, with a lot of us. So he's really, you know, curious and um, really, really putting a lot of effort into his growth. Um, so let's take a look at the list here and see what your thoughts are. Um, Hobie, you're first this time around. Okay. Um, let's see. So three domains you love or hate from this portfolio would be, well, I think expert demolition is probably up there with the ones that I think is probably the most prime to sell specifically because of just, I mean, it's simple, it's easy. And there are a couple companies that I was found, I was able to find that are kind of existing now that I think would have at least some interest, maybe not the price point that makes sense, but it looks like there's an Australian company that has a pretty decent web presence, you know, considering there are kind of, I guess, in the construction field, which you oftentimes run, uh, when you run across companies there, their, their website is kind of just an afterthought versus like uh, the initial, the starting place. So like that one, outside of that, I don't know if I really like a lot of these, to be honest. Um, I think it's, so he's in his third year. I think this is a common thing you run into. It's just, it's very hard for someone to stomach like a, a $21,000 two letter .net purchase. You know, that may have, that obviously has immediate value. So the hand registration is kind of the initial strategy, but that's really, it's, it's one of the ones that 
that's what brings people to domain investing. It's that, that, that high reward potential, but it's just the most risk. And I just, I think a lot more of these are a risk than they are a profitable endeavor as a whole. Yeah. So I think, I think outbound and expert demolition. Uh, I mean, maybe Oriental Properties, perhaps I should have looked a little more into that one. I mean, it's a two words.com. It wouldn't surprise me if there was a couple companies. Are you supposed to say the word Oriental anymore? I think that's a is no that, is that, is that, is that no go? I think so. Well, I'm, nah. I'm, I'm afraid well, to say well, it. Well, no, I think, I think Oriental as it refers to like a person, maybe you can't say that, but isn't Oriental just like a region? Is that also offensive? I don't, is, know. I don't, I don't say words like that. In public. Just uh, say out. it. Just say whatever comes to mind. No. <laughs> say whatever mind, say whatever comes to mind. Well, and deal with I just like, well, it's just, it's a two word.com. It's word the property. best way to eliminate people you don't want in your life. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right like my banker <laughs> yeah it's just my you know wife. it's like say what you it's mean and then the people that you don't keep moving shane yeah exactly i say oh i got some more orientals moving next door see that doesn't <laughs> matter, does well i don't know but if i, 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 I would listen, put in that, that phrase is way but. better you're much better off to say i've got some orientals next door and i don't mean that derogatory at all yeah so and to say that. I've got some Japanese guys next door that they're actually Chinese or Korean, right? Like way less offensive. Yeah, no, eyes. okay. I, I think, yeah, I could, I could probably see that. Cause I, I would say that's like the Asian number one though? mess up like ethnically for Americans is like yeah. thinking like Chinese people or Japanese, Japanese people, uh, Chinese, yeah, Korean, that, that, yeah, you know, that, mixing yeah. up Oriental uh, ethnicities is like a big one for Americans. Exactly. Well, someone calls me Canadian. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't even attempt anymore. I just smile and say their name. So you you be Canadian. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't knock the Canadians, Hobie. Don't push it. You're not coming back on. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I'm just envisioning my intro to this show now. Um, the Sherpas share their expertise on alphanumeric domains. Shane learned something new at auction. And we discuss if it's politically correct to say <laughs> Probably get some clicks, honestly. I think we get at least a couple oh, more. No. Yeah. That'll fill the comment section. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'll just edit this out. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> I wonder if he put in Royal Titan because last uh, review we really liked Storage Titan. Um, but, uh, Hobie, you have any other thoughts or should, uh, we give Shane a turn? Yeah, let's push over to Shane. All right, Shane, what you got? He, he thought of you and the gardening you'll see in a couple of these names. Yeah. So first shout outs to Steamy. That's his dog, his, uh, wiener dog that he takes out for a walk every day. So he's always talking. <laughs> every time he talks to him, you could say anything and he's gone. I, uh, he talks about Steamy. So he, and he's a, uh, a dealer in Canada. So he, he makes a living. I don't remember what he, what table he deals, but he deals for a living. So this is a side hustle for him. Great guy. Oh, like like cards. He deals cards. Cards. Yeah. In a casino cards. I can't remember if it's blackjack. I know if you're or, talking about like a dope dealer. Oh, no, no, no. Dealer, that's true. I should know. make that. I should make that a little clearer. I mean, this is Canada we're talking about. You, yeah, you that's can, true. That's not illegal to deal with. No. Probably, but. Yeah, no, he's a card dealer. So he's, he's a great guy, but I will say over the years I've gotten on him because I think he's addicted to buying closeouts that I don't think they're, he thinks he has a rhyme or reason, but after seeing his names every time, I feel like he's always chasing. And so I've been pretty hard on him to quit. So every time he sends me of all his great purchases, I always respond is send me your great sales because all I got constantly was buy, 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 buy. And that's, that's half of it, <laughs> but the other half of the sales. And even if he makes $4,000 sales, he buys a pretty good amount of names. So he spends a lot of time going through the list. He's kind of like me where he goes through the list and uses that to make a list for others. So I, I think that's a, you know, it's a good way to learn as you're writing what you think is good. You get feedback, you buy some, but the difference is I'll buy one every two weeks and he'll buy, I don't know how many he's buying now, but 10 or 20 a day. And that adds up. I mean, that adds up. And so his renewal cost, he's got more domains than me. He's been in it three years. He's got 400 plus domains, if I remember correctly. So he's got more domains than me. But if you compare the two, um, he, he thinks it's cheaper. But when you start adding up 2,500, 3,000, 6,000 renewal costs, it doesn't add up as quick as buying a couple. So 
Josh proves that you don't have, Josh proves you can do it this way, but look at Josh's sales. I mean, Josh's sales come out. He'll sell a closeout for $25,000 and he'll sell 4% or 2%. You know, there's a numbers game that he's talked over and over that he does well. Uh, Arif's not there yet, but of his names, um, you know, so that was my advice is to, to try and consolidate a little bit and, and go for the sales and get your names up on after Nick's and brand buckets of the world and really try and move some of these names. But um, I, of course I do like casual gardener. The problem with the word gardener is everybody drops the E in gardener. So they, they spell it wrong constantly. So it's actually a tough name to brand. And trust me, I know because I know gar even gardeners spell, misspell perennial and gardener all the time. Uh, I think there's some good marketing names, but you're not going to get a ton. But, you know, if you're a company and you're trying to run a commercial, you might spend a little money on Make Heads Turn. And um, what were some other ones I saw in there that were good? Do you have a minute? You know, those kind of those are memorable. If you have a billboard or you have uh, you're running by, you're probably going to we really care, although they don't care. But you can pretend like you do on a billboard. And those are names that people will remember. Man, it's going to be tough to sell them. But they're not, I think they're the better purchases on there. And then believe it or not, I like letsbet.net. Um, because I think rhyming works in some categories. Because, the, you know, the whole, this whole game is about being memorable. We, we know .com is the most because it's the most popular. But if it, rem if it rhymes really well, people are more apt to remember it. There's a really good Netflix, I don't know if you guys have watched it yet, um, Mastering the Mind. You definitely need to watch no. it. It tells you how the memory works, how the mind works, how people remember things. And rhyming and phonetic is the key to everything. There's a woman that remembered like 90,000 numbers in a row, and she shows how she changes everything to phonetics to remember it. She builds a story out of these things. And so let's bet.net will probably be more remembered than let's bet some you know some other crazy word so i think that's a decent one uh of that but again all these what? so shane for the ones you mentioned you would probably put them up at a buy it now um for what price yeah so those marketing names i'd make it easy i'd make it at 2800 3800 dollars and i'd make some marketing guy who's thinking about his next campaign say you know it's gonna cost me 170,000 for the commercial 50,000 for the people. I'm, if I go this way, I'm just going to buy this name. I may not even go that way because the cost of a commercial is so high. They can afford to pick up names. And we've talked about many times. There's been a lot of people that have bought names on a whim on a might be that never use the name at all. Make it easy for them to buy it. I'm not saying they're going to, but make it easy, make the price cheap. And in marketing, 2,800 is nothing when it comes to overall marketing campaign. Could you go for more? Yeah. But we, he, he knows he got it for 12 bucks. Just try and get some money out of it. Okay. What three domains would you just delete? Um, <laughs> boy, that's an easy one. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know what BNB America is. It's like crypto, right? I like BNB coin. Is it? Oh, like, I, I think that's what that means. Yeah, and, BNB. Bed and breakfast. Uh, or bread and butter, I guess. Yeah, b and actually, yeah. Uh, uh, first thing I saw, I thought it was a crypto thing. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. It's a yeah, if you don't know, that's what I always call it, a crypto. <laughs> um, okay, so if that's not crypto. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought of bed and breakfast, but oh, okay. you're right. I mean, B&B is finance, and Binance uh, just actually launched this week, or will launch this week in, in America. So maybe it's not. And, and I will say $12 for Yupley is not bad at all. Any five-letter pronounceable any pronounceable five letter.com for under hundred dollars is a buy in my opinion. I'm not saying buy them all, but I don't all right. So I'm actually going to just cut you off and jump okay. in here because I actually feel not that bad about this portfolio as you guys do. Yeah. This is obviously not, you know, my cup of tea. Uh, and these are not names that I would probably buy, although there might be a few on here. Uh, but I don't think that they're as bad as maybe we're making them up to be. Um, so, I agree. Uh, like greencarpeting.com, uh, 
I actually just sold greencarpet.com for like 35 grand, I believe. Uh, hopefully that wasn't, probably, it was a name we owned, so I don't think it was, I don't think it matters who's going to get mad except me. Um, uh, so green carpeting, and, and funny enough, I actually thought it was going to sell to like, like a cannabis industry thing. Like I, when I bought it, uh, that was my intention. It was like a cannabis industry, like award show or something, you know, like, or like a cannabis <laughs> celebrity blog, you know, like, like red carpet, but it's the green carpet. So, um, but funny enough, who it sold to is an Austrian carpet manufacturer. Like Ashford? And they literally make green carpets. So uh, really? greencarpeting.com is not a worthless domain. Like, I bet those guys, they just paid whatever it was. It was like, I had something, something around it, 30, 35. So like, I guarantee you that they would pay five grand for greencarpeting.com. Um, you know, I think undercoversecurity.com is probably the worst name on here. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, maybe it is, but garbage. Like, that's garbage. That's a delete. Um, SSLcertification.com also. I can see that as like a marketing campaign, a burner, or probably more likely like being spammed to hell by some low life SSL marketing company. Um, but not a good name. But like, so wait, wait, make wait. So Makeheadturn.com. I can totally see like an SD Water campaign or like, you know, some makeup brand, Mac, saying like, Make Heads Turn is like the new eyelash commercial. You know, like that's a great marketing name. Now, when I say that's a great marketing name, the first time that anybody ever inquires on that domain, you sell it for whatever <laughs> it is they're willing to pay because nobody else will ever inquire. That's the that's important in a million. It's like, you know, there's also a hundred hundred thousand other ways to say make head turn, like, you know, look at her or look at them or you know, what whatever, right? There's like a million different ways to think about it. So the fact that somebody would decide that make heads turn is going to be the way they're, they're going to say it in their campaign, you know, it's a, it's a lottery ticket. So if somebody shows up, you sell that name, whatever. If they, if they got a thousand dollar budget, it's a thousand dollar name. If they got a $25,000 budget, it's a $25,000 name. But whatever they got, take it and run. Uh, but that being said, I do like the name. Similar to, uh, uh, do you have a minute.com? I, I, I really like, do you have a minute.com? I don't remember what the domain was, but Siger, Michael Siger, former owner of this show, uh, and host, uh, had, uh, he sold a domain to somebody or he said, I don't remember. It was something like get a coffee with me or something. I don't, I don't remember. I remember is something about coffee. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, oh no, you know what it was? You think he sold about buy me a coffee? Com. Uh, yeah. I think he sold brood. Yeah, it's a guy. Buy me a coffee thing. That's yeah. what it was. That's right. And do you have a minute? Reminds me of buy me a coffee. It's, do you have a minute? Like, you know, like a mentorship like thing, or, you know, it's like LinkedIn in mail. Uh, there's a thing, there's something there. There's something there. I like it. Do you have a minute? It's really, it's, you know, if yeah. you are uh, inferior isn't the right word. If you are a subordinate and you want to get advice from somebody who is um, a, a senior to you, whether that's in your organization or in your, what, whatever environment you're, we're talking about or context, it's, do you have a minute? Like, that's literally what everybody says. Like, do you have, well, actually, do you have a minute? Like, I'm a I'm originally for I was living out in Utah for a bit. So that reminds me of uh, when the LDS missionaries would come along. Do you have a minute to talk about? Yeah. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> I, I always used to say yeah. nothing comes good after they ask you, do you have a minute? Nothing <laughs> follows that positive. I I am their worst nightmare. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna go there because I've already been so politically incorrect in the show. Uh, but there is truly, and it's not just them. I there's it is true, I don't think there's many things in the world I enjoy more than getting into deep religious debates with converters. Like the people that go around trying to convert people. It's like a lot of fun. Whatever, whatever religion it is, don't care. I love engaging with these people. I love it. It's like truly one of my favorite things. 
you've got those people like in, in Central Park, they've got a little table and it's like, come speak with me for a minute. You know, and, and I'm, I, I'm, I just, you walk right up there, bring a I the old ladies and the children out of the way to get the front seat. Like, let have a chat. Maybe you've heard about me. <laughs> you have a minute? <laughs> <laughs> this might take more than a minute. <laughs> uh, so anyway, the point is, I actually really like that name. Like, like I would even maybe buy that name. I, I like that name. Do you have a minute? Okay, like make it. him an offer right now. Save yourself an email. Make him an offer. Oh, boy. I'm not saving myself. He, he would end up emailing me. I, for he sure. will email. He'll email you. I'm not going to email him, but you're always complaining. Yeah, before exactly. Uh, I would, you know, look, you, you know, this is a name that on Namejet goes for sixty nine dollars. It might get two bids and go for a hundred, but like, so I, I'll be generous because we're live on air and I don't want to be cheap. Uh, so I'll tell him two hundred and fifty dollars, which is probably three times what it would sell for. Uh, I would pay two hundred fifty bucks. Do you have a minute? That's like six words. One, two, three, four, five words. Uh, that'll pay renewals for the whole list. His name that's is true. The good day for that's him. That's true. That's true. Uh, so assuming Da Vinci Solar doesn't infringe on a trademark, I also like that. If you go look at Da Vinci, there's a Da Vinci in every industry. Like literally every industry except domains. I don't think there's a Da Vinci in And domain. it seems bright. I really like that one too. It seems bright. Yep. And, in and, he's and, Vinci, and so he's like the father of invention and you know uh you know i think it they they tie together nicely i think da vinci solar is a uh a nice fit i also like money masterclass uh you know money masterclass is a good name okay but um, he sent over cannabis just for you Strainbox.com and expert cannabis. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, okay, so, all right. Expert cannabis, delete. Like, I would, or or keep it, and I'll make you a bet. I will bet you one thousand dollars that in the next three years. Now, see, the problem is I can't do that because then you know he'll sell it to his cousin and he'll say, "Look, it's sold. You owe me a thousand bucks." But I, yeah, He'll sell I it to us that. and we'll split it. Right, right. Right? Jay, uh, Kobe, you win? Expert cannabis, garbage. Yeah. Sell that name. Cannabis expert? Yes. Expert cannabis? No, not so much. Uh, BNB America is probably a delete too. Strain box, I like. I really, really, really like strain box. Um, there's, I don't even know how many different. Uh, uh monthly subscription boxes there are in the cannabis industry um and i think strain box is a great one it's like you know every month we'll send you a new strain to try uh a strain is like a variety of cannabis uh phenome of of, of the cannabis plant is that correct shane phenome yeah, yeah. strains i i was I educated recently that strains is actually a completely unscientific term it doesn't indicate anything it's actually false uh, and the proper term should be uh, usually what, variety is. I mean, it could be genome, but we call them just varieties. I mean, that's what in the plant industry, it's a different variety. Yeah, because it's all the botanical and species is all the same. Yeah, but but the, I was told. Okay, strain box. Phenotype. 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 Yeah. Strain that's box. Right. So I think strain box is a great name. Now. Cultivar. That's the other one. Ganjabox.com is for sale on Ganjapreneur's domain name marketplace, cannabis domain marketplace, which you can find at the short URL x.co slash gm, uh, as in Ganjapreneur marketplace. Uh, x.co slash gm will take you to the Ganjapreneur.com cannabis domain name marketplace, where you'll find Ganjabox.com, which we've been trying to sell for like $28,000 or something for three years. It used to be an active business. It's got traffic. It's got backlinks and there's no takers. And that's 25 or $28,000. So what is strain box worth? Probably 10 to 20% of that. So, you know, it's probably a 2,500 to $5,000 domain, 7,500 bucks. If you got really lucky, maybe 10, you know, I I probably price it $9,888 and I probably take anything over five grand. Uh, considering the other names on this list, I think you should probably take anything over like twenty five hundred dollars. Um, uh, so that's how I feel about. It. I, I do like it though. Strain Box is a cool name. 
Okay. Um, I want to tie I think that's up. That's pretty much the extent of the ones that I really like. Okay. I want to type what all three of you said, though, is really about um, um, reducing the, um, like, if someone doesn't have much reason to buy these domains over another one. And so the strategy for selling these, which he has grown in his sales success, but the strategy that I'm hearing all three of you say for selling this group is list it as a buy it now, um, take the first offer, don't ask too much to um, just overcome that little bit of opposition or what is, there's a phrase I'm looking for, it's reduce the, the it's, you know what, I love that book, Switch, um, Dan and Chip Heath's book, right? Um, it just, just reduce that, all the steps. So somebody already has to go through the step of, I could buy this domain or a different one, or I don't even know if this commercial or marketing campaign is going to happen. So you want to make it as easy as possible to just click and buy and move on. Um, so that's really the number one thing that I'm hearing here. So um, totally. we'll, we'll talk to Arif in a couple, um, Arif, excuse me, in a couple months and see, see what he says. Very cool guys. Thanks. Uh, I, I think that, you know, Shane is really, uh, and the, um, uh, and you know, the wider domain chain network, uh, are really like the experts on this, you know, lower price name, setting them up, buy it now. I mean, it, it's pretty tried and true, you know, it's just, those are the yeah, names. I mean, it's you, cash flow. you don't want people to have to think too much, right? Like these aren't big life decisions. And so you want to make it as easy and as quick as possible. If they know what the price is, they can make quick decisions. You're going to get some of those, um, spontaneous or what would he call it um i slept three hours last night so my brain's not working that well <laughs> yeah you uh, what is it uh spon no, no, not spontaneous uh impulse the uh, i know the word you're impulse for. impulse impulse, Bingo. Yeah, impulse, buy. impulse buys oh million dollars uh um, <laughs> yeah impulse buying you know you want people to be to make impulse buys you know yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a reason Travis and Josh are some of the biggest sellers on Brand Bucket. That's not, they're not playing favorites. There's lots of names up there and they sell them. You know, they, yeah. I don't think they can tell you exactly what they're looking for, but they know what they're looking for. And, and just to say something short, when you asked me what names to delete, I actually did have trouble finding which ones I would drop because at that price, yeah, I can get my money out of that list. So, you know, and that's the beauty of having partners in my, and Drew's no different. When you talk some things out or listen to Drew talk it through, it really opens it up. It's good to work with others because sometimes yes. you get in this yes. box and you get into this call. 100%. It's, yeah. And you have this conversation and it opens up your mind a little bit. So by the time we were done with this, I think we all had a second thought on where the portfolio was. And where it's at and that's the beauty of, of groups so anybody that works alone is losing money i'll say it right here if you work by yourself and don't have good conversations with others in the industry you're losing money because you just don't get to see the whole picture because you're in your little closet yeah so. no, I, my brother and i when uh he and i oftentimes buy names together and it's the same thing i'm like that's this is a million dollar name he's like bullshit and i had to justify why it's a million dollar name to him and we should spend x amount on it and then sometimes he's on the inverse i'm like i, I don't i don't see you just like it that's a that's a five-year hold man that's the three to five on that one you know to get that so it's yeah absolutely support what you just said on that yeah most of our wives do that they're the ones who <laughs> like, uh, I, I don't have one of those. I have a brother, so I just yeah. No. <laughs> work with you I, got, I work with one of those as well. I got both. So by the time they both get into me, I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And and that's what's fabulous that you guys get together here too. Um, thank you so much to each of you for your advice. And um, really, I think it takes a lot of bravery to um, submit domains. And I think that. Arif is so smart in regularly reaching out to us and um, sending this list over. So it's cool to see his growth year over year. So congrats, Arif, and we'll talk to you again soon. Um, before we jump- Yeah, I, that, that's my takeaway is that I don't remember what the last list was, but I don't remember having a very good impression. It's, so I it's would say a that it's an whole nother level. And yep. Yeah, 
that's what it takes. Yeah. So, hey, um, let me tell you about our advertisers who support us in this important educational mission. FD was built by domain investors to increase your inquiries, sales, and profit. Forget spreadsheets and archived emails. Manage your entire investment portfolio in one place using a secure and completely confidential platform. Learn more at FT.com. That's E-F-T-Y, FT.com. So we'll move on to the marketplace list now. This segment is sponsored by Namejet. We're reviewing domains heading to auction soon. And remember to click through because once the auction starts, you can't place a bid or watch and find out what, uh, what happened or how smart our Sherpas are. So um, for transparency, anybody own or brokering any of the names on the list? Nope. No. All right, cool. Um, Drew, you're up first. Okay. Uh, so my, uh, the name I liked the most was myauctions.com because I love auctions. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what my auctions would be, but, uh, you know, could be could be cool in a different you know some someday like you could just like pure you know there are a lot of people who are obsessed with auctions like my father-in-law literally sits in front of his computer tells us he's working all day uh you know he's totally retired and he sits in front of his computer and literally bids on ebay auctions all day all day people come and deliver ebay packages and he just buys things on ebay he loves the auction process and um so uh, there's lots of other people like me. And uh, I think, you know, imagine you had like this cool website. You, say, you can log in and you got your like my auctions dashboard. And I've got like all my auctions from everywhere pulled into one place. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I, I like the name. I, I don't think it's worth a ton. I don't think there's any names on here that are worth tons. Um, it's kind of one of the worst list from Namejet I think we've had. But uh, I like that one. I like my auctions. Um, Sawhorse looks like one of those names that Shaw, uh, that uh, Shane would pick up and keep in his portfolio for the next decade. Uh, yep. Tools. Uh, do you really mean worst or do you just mean lower value? It's pretty bad. There, I mean, I, there's not even... I was trying to make it better. <laughs> I don't corporate event planner I bid on, care check maybe just because the word care is so hot, bio design, bio design, actually I like bio design, bio design is a great name, I, that's it though, you know, my auctions, it's like I, I like that name, but is it worth a lot? Nope, no search, no traffic. What would you uh, recommend or what would you bid? I mean, you're cheap, but what would you bid? I, I probably will bid uh, for that one, so. I'm, I'm going to refrain, okay. uh, but you know, lo low four figures. Um, CCTV cam. I mean, you know, that that's got some commercial value, but again, you know, it's not going to be tons, probably, probably a five to 10 grand name if you find the perfect buyer and that's going to require some work. You know, the, the chances that they come knocking on your door are very, very low. On a, on a name like that, right? So it's not a brand. Uh, so yeah, I don't I don't love really anything except you know, I mean, bio design and my auctions are probably the only names I bid on personally. Okay, Hobie, you more optimistic? Oh yes. So on one name specifically, I like I was saying earlier. We said earlier in the show, I just got kind of building a house. And I use sawhorses so many times to build everything. So I love sawhorse. Like I'm, if that's a name Shane's going to keep in his portfolio, I'm going to have to fight him on that one because I really do like it. Sawhorse could be, anytime you have a type of industry where it's a direct to consumer versus B2B, so it's just kind of B2C, that's where you really see a lot of money spent on domain names because it's just a strongly engaged, you know, from a consumer standpoint. Sawhorse could be one of those brands. You know, you have things like HomeAdvisor, you have Joyce, all of these services that actually are direct to consumer that just have a very commercial use that uh, I, I think just you can see sell for great sums. Now, Sawhorse, I don't think it's a six-figure name. 
but I think you could ask like 75k on something like that and just see what see what kind of offers you could field in but I do like it not just for construction as well but it could be sawhorse as it relates to team building as it relates to like a sales consultancy it could be just the, the other variation on that you would have is workhorse and workhorse I don't know how that would be received. I'd have to ask some of my equestrian friends, you know, see how, see if workhorse is a term they use. I, I think it is, but, you know, I learned something new earlier in the show, so perhaps I'm wrong on this one. But, uh, you know, I, I do like sawhorse, though. I, just, I think that has, there's a lot of benefits for that. You know, I, I don't know if that's an immediately liquid name and the fact that, like, you can immediately sell for, like, 50 to 75 or something. But I could easily see something like that. A buyer could come to me and say, listen, we want to start this brand. We're looking for something kind of catchy, brandable. What do you have? You could throw a sawhorse at him and just, I think I could see someone biting down on that. So I, I do like that name a lot. Outside of that, um, honestly, I like sexual signs. I think it's a great two word alliteration. I'd have to do some, <laughs> do some Googling and see what it could be used for. Mm, I bet you did. Yeah. But like, I, I think yeah. it's, I can I, no. I think you could see. I think that's a good one. I think with a lot of uh, a lot of movements you have, it's just kind of uh, sexual liberation is the wrong word, but I just I could see that having. I could see a brand using that. Outside of that, you know, my auction is cool, but I, I think you know maybe I'm wrong. This is mine, not more of an antiquated kind of form. Is that I feel like my would be more of a. That's an internal thing. It would be like ebay.myauctions.com i don't know if that would be like a direct now i mean i think there's still value there because it is like you were saying drew in the auctions in the auction space but of all these i like sawhorse i think that is that's the best one on there nice thanks hobie yeah good insight all right uh Shane. i love workhorse.com by the way and so i just like went there to see what it was mm -hmm. and it's actually a company that bought out general motors delivery van business and manufactures okay. electronic delivery vehicles and they're called workhorse so they have workhorse.com they just raised 25 million dollars uh great brand i like workhorse yeah, yeah. no it's cool and you kind of warmed me up to sawhorse yeah it's uh, cool right you know what i've got uh this domain toolchest.com for sale yeah you want to buy that one <laughs> I, know, I mean look we like tool chest tool chest what are the variations <laughs> It's, isn't Thanks, Tool yours? Isn't I say, isn't Tool Chest yours? I thought that's mine. Yeah, no Tool Chest. You're brokering cool. it for me on the show. Tool Chest. <laughs> How cool would that be if I close a deal on the show with you there? Yeah. <laughs> what would you want for Tool Chest? That the one that you told me to you listen. Say, you say it. You say I planted the seed. That was what yeah. you call inception. But like, listen, my, I, I'm an investor. I, if, buying from an investor level, like my risk tolerance is not as great as perhaps someone like Drew. So I'm I'm dirt cheap when it comes to that kind Set of stuff. Save the guy with an uninsured house in Florida. Exactly. <laughs> it's insured. Just my not risk tolerance it. might not be. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's hurricanes. Yeah. Underinsured. <laughs> Differences on a house, I can I can roll up my sleeves and just rebuild it. A domain, like you know, that's that's that could be forever until I sell. You can throw a blitz on the top. Listen to me. When I was in the fish business, mm -hmm. most important lesson I ever learned in my life, I hands down, I uh, I was in the fish business. I'd been in the fish business already for years. I, I you know I should have been better than this, and I got a little ahead of my skis. I got a little over my skis. I love that expression lately. Uh, and uh, for those who are not familiar, it just means like getting a little ahead of yourself, getting going a little beyond maybe what you, where you should have gone. So, anyways, I you know was primarily ninety percent of my business was scallops, and I got this connection uh, in Peru, and we were importing squid from Peru, and it was so cheap, it was stupid. Like if the market was a dollar twenty-five a pound, I was getting it for twelve cents, and it was like this is amazing. And they sent us a sample and it was, you know, I sold it, sent it to like my, uh, my big Korean, uh, uh, client. And the guy was like, yes, I'll buy as much as you can send me. So anyways, you know, I was making a huge margin on this stuff. And so I was like, I sent a purchase order to the guy in Peru and I was like, send me eight container loads. So we're talking about 40,000 for between 40 and 45,000 pounds per container. So I had a quarter million pounds of squid. Uh, you know, what we call on the water, you know, being shipped from Peru to America. And the first containers, they didn't all come at once. The first container arrived, shipped it. You know, here I am sitting back at my desk, like, whoa, we're going to profit margin on this. And um, all of a sudden, you know, complaints start coming in. And uh, so 
I fly out to Los Angeles where this container is and I go and inspect the product and it's garbage. And I've got seven more containers of it on the water, paid, already paid. And uh, so anyway, so I go back home and I explain to my boss, look, I don't know what to do. I got eight container loads of absolute garbage, uh, garbage squid. It was literally chopped up pieces of giant squid, like like those the ones that like wash up on the beach in Mexico that are like, you know, 60 feet long. Really I'm, not ones. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. So anyway, I... He was like, literally, you will solve this problem. Uh, he was like, you know, I'll give you a margin of loss of like this much. If we lose more than that, you're fired. And so uh, right. I had a week and I flew out to Los Angeles and I literally, I rented a car and I drove around literally. When I say roll up my sleeves, and, you know, this is, what, this is the point of the story. You, said, you know, the house, I can roll up my sleeves. And, and so I rolled up my sleeves and I pounded the pavement. And I mean, pounded the pavement in Los Angeles. And I went to every single uh, Chinese and Korean wholesale seafood distributor, um, which they are by far the biggest in, in Los Angeles. And um, tried to sell this stuff. I was like selling my soul to, to try and sell this stuff. Luckily, I had a big margin. But still, it's like, how do you sell something that's just garbage? So anyway, I found this one guy and I'm telling you, man, it was like, it was just, it, this was an impossible sale, impossible. And I found one Korean guy, John Park. I love you, John Park. I love you. And uh, John Park was like, I'm going to help you. So he figured out, he sent it to this guy. He, he, he literally, I don't even want to tell this story. Uh, he found a guy that literally had Where like one of those board planers that like plane boards, you know, so like get it down. Was it on a sawhorse? No. <laughs> so he literally used a board planer to like plane because literally this squid was like the wall of the squid. It's like literally this thick. It's like two to three inches thick. Can't eat that. So he literally planed it so that he, instead of like, like, I don't remember if it was three or four layers cut into layers and then they take a cookie cutter press and uh like a giant press and they cookie cutter squid rings out of it and boom voila now suddenly we got something that can be sold not for a dollar uh 25 a pound but for like 250 a pound now granted we've got you know costs in the middle of that to take it from giant heaping pile of crap to mm -hmm you know, machine press squid rings, uh, but we did it. And we actually came out, we made a profit of $8,000. Um, a lot of work for 8,000. And it was literally the most, it was the proudest, one of the most proud to this day, one of the proudest moments of our life. Getting that close, made, we didn't lose money, we actually made a little bit. And it doesn't account for the amount of time I spent, you know, uh, uh, cleaning up this mess. If you roll up your sleeves, almost any problem can be solved. Yeah, no, no that's one. That's one. Yeah, being stuck with toolchest.com. <laughs> well, that's one thing I've noticed Wish. in the space too. It's it's all it's awesome because you can sit there, as long as you're willing to sit in front of a computer long enough and just don't give up. Eventually, you'll break through. It's awesome. Absolutely, no question. Yeah. I feel um, bad that toolchest. I you believe that you're going to go onto the internet and fill out a form and have. Magically, a thousand dollars arrive in your mailbox every month. We can hope, right? Like, you don't know it's actually my personal email. I'm like, no, maybe just in case. I think you can <laughs> take all those emails, Drew, and send them something with a link to click. <laughs> click here and fill out your bank account info, and we'll yeah. send you money. Yeah, no, that's what you do. You say if you get your credit card, we'll put it on your credit card. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, but I mean, you know, look, these guys don't, these people don't have a pot to piss in. One of them did. One of them was like, you know, I really don't need the money. He was like, just give it to me because I'll vote for you. Uh, <laughs> just buy a vote. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Truly, though, that, 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 I wonder if that could be construed as illegal. That's got to be illegal. Actually, that, that's got to be a bribe. At one, at some, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> 100%. I wonder. I wonder 
wonder how that works. You know, if you're like, if you vote for me, you just can't pay promises. You don't actually give it to them. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> campaign promises don't mean anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, truly, truly. Oh, I, so I like corporate event plan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I think we're out of time, guys. Um, I get to do mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't even go through the list. Oh, what? We'll get oh, to your chain. Roll your sleeves up. You don't even have any. <laughs> oh, man. He was right about Sawhorse, though. I will say that. I looked at it. I mean, I think any tool name is a good name. It's if it evokes a thought of a tool or a help thing, then it's a good name, especially if it's singular. That's what everybody's like. You've got this tool, the plural will be good. I don't want to sell the tool. I want the tool to represent some other tool that has nothing to do with that. So just like you just like you mentioned, sawhorse, I can see a little logo with a little sawhorse on it and it assists you. Cause when you work on your house, that is the one of the biggest assistants you have is something holding that yeah. up. So. Yeah. So I think that's good, but Drew's right. I got like low torch and monkey wrench. And, and like you said, on monkey wrench, I get an order a week for some car part. It's transmissions, brakes. And they always put like, cause my minimum 750, they're like 750 is a bit much for brakes, but I would like to order. It's <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from, what do you, what's your ask on monkey wrench? Uh, I don't know. We'll talk. I mean, I've got it in like 75 K or something like that. Okay. Yeah, but Monkey Wrench, you know, and Drew is, he's right. I could have it for a decade, but I could sell it a profit in any minute because I got, you know, I, I, when you bought oh, names yeah. three four years yeah. ago. Yeah. Uh, you do, Drew knows what I paid you're, for. You're in the jobs. money. I bought that seven years ago. Yeah, for nothing. Yeah, for nothing. So, and Blowtorch was a movie studio that was a huge bust. They got like $50 million in funding. And all they left with after bankruptcy was a domain name. I just had to whittle it away from them. And, but that was much different than it is today. Let me, let me sell Blowtorch to uh, Elon. Oh, it's not, I, it's, I know, it's a, a it is a Blowtorch. A yeah. No, no, no. His, his, his whole thing was it's not a flamethrower. It's actually a Blowtorch. Yeah, That's why he called it not a flamethrower. Flamethrowers are illegal. Blowtorches aren't. Yes. Ah, okay. For inter, interstate commerce shipping and then international there shipping. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I mean, those are those. I think those are invoke tools are always a good brand and again singular you don't want you're not here to sell the tools i agree with you on the names though i mean i i don't see anything like i, I think home meals is a huge category but you're not going to call it home meals you're going to call it something yeah, else yeah. I was yeah, just yeah. Looking at those, yeah the other day i mean it, and that's a, pe people make that mistake all the time this is a billion dollar category yeah it is but they're not going to name it after the category that's why so many of these names just don't sell i'm not a huge vr in the title name uh, because I don't think they're going to call themselves VR because they don't want to limit themselves. As what do you what think about Mega do. Fresh? Yeah, so Mega Fresh I like. Um, fresh is a great word. It's been around for a uh, hundred years. Fresh is always, even if it's not fresh, it makes it sound fresh. I like, and I'm well, learning. Well, hold, on, hold on, can we just address the word fresh has been around for a hundred years? Oh, they've used uh, fresh as like instant delivery in 1910. They'd say fresh. To your door meaning i'm gonna get it by horse or by <laughs> train yeah no you can look at like i but i, but like I the, would suspect we've been using the word fresh since a lot longer than oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No. but i mean in marketing oh, okay. Okay. Or good. okay yeah in marketing, okay, as, a marketing once, term, as a marketing term okay okay gotcha yeah once they were able to get things quicker once the train came and once they were saying hey i can get it to you sooner than everybody else in fresh that's uh, I got these magazines I, I put on my nursery. I, I bought these 18, I think they're 1888 magazines. And it's interesting to see the marking that was going on there because the train had become such a huge part and the car was right around the corner. They're, you know, fresh to your door in 12 days. You know, we look at it now where it's a day and they're thinking, I'm going to be there in only 12 days and you're going to be able to maybe eat that yogurt. You had a chance at it. Uh, as far as the other names, my, that, I always thought my was a, a past naming convention, but it's memorable. I mean, I, you talk to people in my, you know, my pillow was huge and my is just something that, that people remember. And uh, again, I never, I they always thought like, on, they pardon me? It. I want it to be, it's mine. Yeah. I mean, it just, 
Go and my seem to be standing forever when it comes to putting things in front. So I, I've changed my thought. I bought my bees. I thought I'd get it for next to nothing. And everybody liked that as a bee brand. And I, I guess my was just pretty popular. But so I'm not against my names anymore. I understand why people use them. Metal Pro is a good one. Somebody's that's a lot of uses on Metal Pro. There's a lot of people don't buy metal like I do. We buy tons of metal and uh, stuff to build and weld. And there's fabricators and there's uh, blacksmiths. There's a lot more industry in the metal business than most people realize because they don't have to deal with it. They're they're buying it from a third party. That's you know they're not called the metal. They're just a retailer. But there is a lot of metal people out there. Everything else. I I don't yeah I just wouldn't put it in my Bitcoin bots I don't even know what it is tourism school they're just they're just boring bird farm I don't dislike the name I just have no idea why people would use it so I think their names that will sell like they always do but I don't know I don't feel comfortable selling it you know and I have a name on my portfolio I got to explain to them why they would want it I couldn't do that for a lot of these names other than I want to sell it to you that's that's my explanation. Fair enough, yeah. Well, I want to tell a story. Kate Buckley does that really well. She says, your domain should tell a story when you're selling it. I got no stories. I, I'll have to use Drew's squid, squid ring story behind everyone I sell. <laughs> on <that list>. <laughs> taking the notes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah. All right, well, thank you guys for, for coming on. Um, this was, was a long show, and you have so much, many great insights um congrats hobie on all the remodeling and i guess shane on getting your neighbors to remodel um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um love having you guys on um and uh we'll see you all next time yeah Take care. ciao thank you guys yeah.